The show is roughly, it began back in Middle Lancaster, Pennsylvania, a few miles down the road, and it uh, outgrew that site, and then the club bought ground here in Portersville, and the original acreage here, and then the, we've since bought a few uh, adjoining parcels, but it's grown tremendously. We've had uh, bigger and bigger shows every summer. And we have uh, active steam engines, we have antique tractor pulls, we have uh, apple salt, or apple butter and apple cider in the fall, and a uh, full on a kitchen. And just we try to bring a, a nice uh, variety of experiences to the visitors. Uh, my name is David Shaw, I'm from Portersville, Pennsylvania, and I'm the announcer here at the Steam Show during the summer. And I also announce for the uh, pedal pools, and I'm also uh, working the kitchen, help out in the flea market, help out in the office. Uh, I'm an exhibitor here, bring my lawnmower. I also exhibit toys in the uh, exhibit building. Um, well, yeah, the train is down there in the corner, and uh, we also have, walking up along the one road, we have the log cabin. It's an antique cabin. It's a uh, turn maybe 1870s or so, period. And we also have the forge, and uh, we have a nice guy in there who volunteers his time and uh, works out on the uh, forge. And we also have the log cabin. That's run by Wayne Cooper. He uh, is one of the original members, and he has anything in there you can buy, sell, and trade. We also have the uh, ice cream stand here. It's a dollar a cup, homemade uh, chocolate and vanilla. And then we have, the in the fall show, we do have the cider press running. We uh, squeeze local apples, and we make uh, cider and uh, apple butter. And we also have uh, the kitchen. We uh, have a volunteer work in there for all three shows, full menu for the uh, all the visitors and uh, the flea market up there in the hill. Try to get as many uh, members out there. So, and we also have uh, the full all the steam engines. We have three or we have four active steam engines. We also have a, a steam house with uh, stationary engines. So, it's a uh, it's a nice mix of um, exhibits you can come see. And we also have a, a gas station. It's maybe 1940s period or so, and some of the pumps actually work yet. And uh, that's run by Sam Cooper. So we uh, try to exhibit what we can and make a nice variety for the uh, visitors. If you want to see a couple of real hillbillies, yeah. here we are. We are a reenactment, Civil War reenactment organization, and we're doing the demonstration here this weekend to try to uh, show the public how these cannons were loaded and fired and giving them some history and some information about the Civil War and about the original 19th Ohio that came out of Cleveland, Ohio, and Berea during the Civil War. The name of the organization is the 19th Ohio Light Artillery. And our membership comes from uh, northwestern Pennsylvania, uh, northeastern Ohio, and as far south as uh, Wheeling, West Virginia.
train was built by the grandparents for the enjoyment of their kids. It's about 30 years old. It was finished in 12th month, 24th day of 84 or 82. And it's just been running here ever since. It was built by Grandpa Burr, Carol Bupp, and Alan Bupp, and kids. We first put the track in, of course, I wasn't around. I've only been with these people for the last 15 or 20 years. Uh, we had a lot of heat stresses and changing of track. The track didn't stay level. And, we had to continuously play with it. But uh, Audrey's grandfather, uh, being he was a railroad man, he was retired at the time. He'd come up and spend one or two, three hours a day just working with it. Well, the train, the engine is a uh, old Wisconsin. The clutch is a case, tractor clutch, and I believe it's running on a uh, Fiat rear end, Fiat car rear end. It runs, it runs. Uh, well, it's got a three-speed transmission. We we'll rerun it second gear, at an idle. Then it's probably what half mile around. I'm going to say. I think, well, the cars themselves weigh 630 pounds apiece. The engine is around 1,200 pounds. Uh, it'll hold probably 25 to 30 people. I'm demonstrating blacksmithing. Uh, at the moment, I'm making banner stands, which are used to hold flagpoles and such out in the field. The section of tape that they have has me putting the final touches on the twist on the top of it. It has two rings to hold the pole in a proper position and the stake on the bottom. I make mainly camping equipment and uh, decorative ironwork, uh, tent stakes, tripods, and uh, lantern stands, uh, chandeliers, uh, stuff for windows. Uh, everything I do is done traditionally with a hammer and forge and a coal fire forge. Uh, I, I don't do anything with modern equipment.
I belong to the, an internet uh, group for economy tractors, which is what I own and I restored. And I, uh, talking to the guy that started the track, the, the internet club, they are always talking about the Portersville Steam Show on the internet, and I go back and forth, and there are a whole bunch of people on that club. And I get in talking with them, and I have no idea who any of them are. So they were featuring lawn and garden tractors this year. Uh, this would be an excellent year to go to Portersville and see all the people that I've been talking to for two years. Oh, I joined this. I sent my dues in through the association, and I joined the association a couple of months ago. And I came down Wednesday. It took me two days to come down here from Maine, and I came in the gate and introduced myself, and they said, oh, wonderful, our new member from Maine. They said, what do you want to do? <laughs> what I like most is the camaraderie, the friendliness of all these people. They don't know me from Adam, and I introduced myself, and it was like I was one of the family. This is wonderful. What really wonderful is they're getting the kids involved. If we don't involve the kids, there won't be any steam show 10 years from now.